Hi, I'm Colin. Welcome to Learn Somatics. Today I want to show you a movement to free up the entire side, the shoulder girdle, the waist, uh, the entire one side of your body, and it's also going to help with twisting as well. So it's going to improve your ability to rotate, and it's going to improve comfort of your neck and shoulders also. The second half of this movement is something I learned from Lawrence Gold. He's another somatic educator. You can find him. Uh, I've put a link to his YouTube in the description. So the working position for this movement is laying on your side like so, knees at about 90, arms stretched out in front, use a pillow for comfort, and you're going to put your two hands on top of each other like so. From here, we're just going to start sliding our top side hand forward of our bottom side arm. And then slowly coming back to the start position. And just notice as you do this how it's a rolling action of your trunk that sends the arm forward. And you feel your shoulder blade move away from your spine and then come on back. So this is going to improve your ability to reach and twist. Sliding that arm forward, freeing up the chest, the shoulder blades and then come on back. And just do that a couple of more times. As always, if we go nice and slow, we're gonna get a real nice improvement. And slide forward one last time. And then come on back. Now let's change direction. And we're gonna slide the top side hand backwards along our other hand. And keep your elbow straight when you do this. And you'll notice if you do that, that it has to come, the movement has to come from your rib cage rolling. You can let your head go long as well. And then come back. And don't force it, it doesn't matter if it's not a big movement. In fact, we'll get more out of it if we just respect what we're feeling. And only go as far as it's comfortable. And come on back. Nice, easy, soft rolling of the rib cage, bringing the hand and arm back with us. And you only go as far as you can without the arm bending. All right, one more time, bringing the arm back. Again, keeping the elbow straight. Letting the head turn, letting the rib cage roll a little bit, and then coming on back to the start position. All right, now let's a couple of times just alternate between those two positions. So we're gonna slide all the way forward, however, however we can. And we're gonna slide all the way back as far as we can comfortably. And we'll just do that about three or four times. Again, just feel how it's a roll of the rib cage. Your arm isn't actually moving, right? Your arm isn't actually reaching or changing length. It's going further because your roll of your trunk is pushing and pulling the arm forward and back. The head just rolls along with it. Okay. And come back to the start position. All right, now from here, clasp your hands together like you're making a club and now we're going to change things, we're going to change tack a little bit. From here, we want to see if we can lift the two arms off the ground. So it's like we're going to try and point our club, our fists, at the ceiling. Let's just see what that feels like. If we lift the arms a little bit and then come back down. Hmm. So when we lift the arms, you're probably going to feel quite a bit of activation of muscles in your trunk. You lift up, you're going to feel it down the side of your trunk into your ribs and then come on down. And you'll notice I'm starting with some very small movements. And it doesn't matter that they're small, you're gonna feel a lot of muscle action. So we're just seeing, hmm, am I capable of doing this? And you kind of roll a little bit further each time. Okay, now I can lift my hands a little higher, and then I can come back down. So we're re-establishing our control of our trunk, of rotation, of our ribs, etc. Okay, and again, lift up the arms again, keep the elbows straight, you're going to try and point them more up toward the ceiling. You'll feel again, this is a roll of your trunk. It's a roll of your rib cage. All this movement comes out of your center. The arms are only moving because of what we're doing with our center. Again, let's see if we can go a little bit further each time. Turn your head as well. Slowly come down. Nice and easy, like so. And we're going to keep doing this until we kind of feel like we've reached our limit. And slowly come down. Nice, lazy movement. I think I can go a little bit further, so I'm gonna go again. Rolling to point those arms, the club, up to the ceiling. Starting to feel like I'm getting toward my limit there. Come back down. And keep your knees together as you do this as well. You want the movement to come out of the, the trunk. And if you go really slow, you can really feel it. And actually, if you come up a little bit, like this, and then sort of come back down a bit, and go 
sort of in this middle portion of the movement. You can really feel how it's your rib cage and your trunk that does the movement. And then all the way to whatever the top is for you, keep it the elbow straight. Come on down. And let's just do one more. Rolling those club, your fists towards the ceiling. And then nice and slowly back to rest. All right, so let's just see what happens now. If we put our hands back on top like we were before, and we're gonna revisit our sliding of our hands forward and the sliding of our hand back. And just notice that that feels somewhat easier or different now after doing the twisting action with the club hands. And you may find that your sliding back and forth of the arm now feels quite a bit easier and more comfortable. Like you get a bit more opening through your ribs in both directions. Okay, and uh, come to rest. Let's lay on our back and see what we've got. Well, if you've done that slowly and carefully, you should feel quite different on that top side, whichever side you were working with. That was the right side for me. I, I actually feel a bit like I'm lying on a hill tilted down towards the right. That's created quite a bit of space through the entire right side, rib cage, hip, waist, leg, shoulder, the whole lot. So hopefully you're feeling something similar there and getting a really nice uh, compare and contrast sensation there. So you can see how just doing these small movements you can make quite profound changes. What you can do now is stand up, have a walk around, see how that feels in walking and moving, and then come on back, play the video back, and repeat that sequence on the second side so you're nice and balanced. So that's a nice simple exploration to free up the entire side of the body. Give it a try. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.